Hello guys, this is Mitch here. I'm doing a how to get your brand new Focusrite 2i2 Gen 4 using loopback. Now I'm not doing every aspect of loopback. The only, the only thing I'm going to do in this little tutorial here, I'm going to show you how you get your sounds from your DAW to OBS. And I'm going to stop right there. Um, it's it's pretty easy, but there's a couple things you have to do. Uh, so you all know, you know, how to install the software. You got to get your Focusrite Control 2 software for the Gen 4 2i2. Now, the Gen 4 uh, uh, is only in the, in the uh, Scar Solo Gen 4, the 2i2 Gen 4, and the 4i4 Gen 4. And all three of those uses the Focusrite Control 2 software. And uh, let's go. All right. So, but there's one thing we have to do first. After you install that, you have to enable this focus right notifier deal thing here. So, what you want to do, you go to your applications, all apps, focus right device settings, open that. And actually, here's where you can set your sample rate and your buffer size. Which I need to fix mine. I haven't messed with it in the in the doll yet too much, but it's that's a little too uh, a little too. I need to slow that down or put it down to one twenty eight. Um, so you got that you got that running, and by default Windows does not enable a loopback output. You need to do that. So if you go in here into your hidden uh, your uh, your Sigma jiggy here on the right hand side where it's got things running or in the background. So what you want to do, left click on that F for the focus right notifier. And do you see where it says expose hide windows channels? Click on that. And by default, that check is not in there where the loop back left and right are. So you need to check that. Okay. And uh, real quick though, you know, I'm, like I said, there is no documentation on a lot of this stuff. I'm figuring it out, trying to figure out what the you know the the older Gen three uses different software, and trying to ascertain how to do all this stuff right because it's <laughs> the documentation is horrible. But anyway, um, so we got that part situated, and I'm looking at you know the uh, documentation, the PDF file, which I do have. Let me see, I have it right. Didn't mean to close it, but anyway, I'm just scrolling down to the, uh, see, this is the only inputs you have right here. You know, you, it's a 2i2. It's only got two inputs, a mic and a uh, a guitar, or two mics or two guitars. But the um, the mixing panel, which I am look, I was looking on um, the Focusrite site, it shows a real fancy uh mixer panel with all these uh, virtual A, B, and C uh, loopback things. I'm assuming I'm going to get that. It doesn't say anything about that. That, you know, I'm, why is it not, I don't get that. I just get, you know, I have that. I have this here. Say, I don't get the big mixer panel. And so, but the, the loop pack's still going to work. So, long story short, I read an article. Not even it wasn't even on Focus, right? Some review site was doing it. You don't get all that fancy stuff on the uh, on the two i two. But the loop pack still works fine for what we're going to do. It's going to work fine. You can still do it. You know, you just don't have that fancy rounding stuff. But you can still accomplish the same thing. Anyhow, so let's go back into that. Uh, I just closed that. No, I didn't. Go back in that PDF. I'm going to get to where it shows Reaper. 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 Here's Reaper. All right. And I'll show you how to do that. And, you know, when you get into the settings for Reaper, for, you know, you, of course, you want to set your audio settings. You want to set the ASIO, focus right USB audio driver. Um, input one is one, but the, the second one there, it's going to be loopback two. And then the outputs are going to be one and two. You need you need to put that in there, or else the loopback is not going to work. But that really, but it's here. You'll see how easy it is. Let me close out of that. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go into. Let's go into um, OBS. 
All right, and so I, I just got my mics coming through here. Just you know, it's not on a no loopback thing or anything. But what I'm going to do is I have a I do have a track that I'm going to use in Reaper for my mic, and I'll turn this one off, and I'll show you how to get the guitar. But we what we need to do first, what we need to do first is we need to input a source, and we're going to do audio input capture right there. Let's call this, you call it whatever you want. I'll call it, to, I'll call it doll. You could name it whatever you want. we we'll call it doll. And we need to change it to loop back left and right. Do that right there. And I'm going to, now I'm going to mute this. I'm going to mute this, but I'll go into Reaper and I'll enable it for here. And you'll see what happens. Let's try it. Let me mute this. I'll be right back. And I think you can hear me. Look, you can see the meters go up as I talk. And do I have a guitar? Do I have a guitar? I do not because I got a monitor. I uh, have the monitor off. Turn that on right there. And I think you heard that, and that's how easy it is. And I think this is going to work the same way. You can go, I'm sure, you can probably go for directly, if you're going to use StreamYards, go directly from from Reaper to StreamYards, and I'm pretty sure it's going to have that loopback, you know, you select the loopback uh, one and two in there. I'm not sure. I'll do another video on that. But that's how, oh, I'm, ooh, I'm clipping, aren't I? That's how, um, not really. That's how um, that's how easy it is, and I think I got everything. So um, and actually, you'll pro let's say if I, let's say if I um, let's see when I'm gonna play this. Let me pl let's play it play it. Uh, what I have in here the tracks. Let's see see if y'all see if y'all hear that. I think y'all hear that. Oh, by the way, in the imp see I'm a, I'm having an echo now. I'll mute myself, but um. As you can see, input, you know, I select my guitar zone, put two. Nothing fancy with that. Just nothing fancy at all with that. It's not that much you really have to do that you don't normally do anyway. Let me mute the mic and play the guitar. Not the guitar, just play what's in there. I think it works and it's easier and much easier than using a virtual audio cable it's not that that that's real hard once you know how to do it so um yeah that's it that is my lot is my tutorial on how to get Reaper from the Focusrite 2i2 Gen 4 into OBS thank you boys and take care well I got a lot of editing to do. See what I got to take out of here. See you, boys. See you, boys.